all sufficient. Our church's general manager recently wrote a letter to the entire church, and this was his first paragraph. Our buildings carry the words, Jesus, hope for humanity. In these days of uncertainty, many people are unsettled by the hopelessness of the situation. We can take comfort in the knowledge that we serve a Lord and Saviour who provides us with a hope and a future, just like it tells us in Jeremiah 29, verse 11. But for many, what seemed to be certain has suddenly become very uncertain. The world is confronted by hopelessly insufficient hospital beds to care for the sick. There are insufficient ventilators and respirators, insufficient face masks, and even insufficient toilet paper and hand towels on the shelves. Some sporting leagues believe they have insufficient funds to survive this current crisis. Many businesses have insufficient income to pay their staff. Those suffering from coronavirus explain the feeling of having insufficient air to breathe. So you get my point here. But where do we turn in the face of uncertainty? My grace is sufficient for you for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, most gladly, I will rather boast in my infirmities, Paul says, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse nine. So what does sufficient really mean? Just enough to get by or more than enough? To give you an idea, check out another verse in the same epistle where Paul also is speaking about sufficiency. It says, and God is able to make all grace abound towards you, that you always, having all sufficiency, there you go, in all things, may have an abundance for every good work. 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8. So it says, all grace, always, all sufficiency, in all things, so that you may abound in the good work God has called you to. Well, that doesn't sound like just enough sufficiency to get by. It's all grace, always, all sufficiency, all times. So what does this promise mean to you and me? No matter how tough life gets, how restricted our movements may become, or how challenging circumstances grow to be, you have all the grace you need and more. And God's grace is God's favor. Grace is forgiveness. Grace is the wherewithal to stand firm and stay strong. Let's not forget where, or even more importantly, who our sufficiency comes from. Christ will grace you with all the resolve you need to confront your pain, endure in challenge, and stand firm through disappointment. Keep believing for the best and stay in expectation of the best. God is on your side. God won't allow you to be burdened beyond the grace He gives you to withstand. No temptation has overtaken you except such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able. But with the temptation will also make the way of escape that you may, may be able to bear it. So my friends, Stay in faith, the best is yet to come.